Hello and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. So, what we need to do now is unlock the Lost World, which involves, uh, if I remember right, going around this bloody thing about a million times. So, you got to circle these rocks. Uh, I think it's counterclockwise. So, we'll find out shortly anyway. Now, using the magical powers of an action replay, ta -da! I have unlocked all of the bonuses. By that I mean, of course, I spent tons of hours doing lots of hard work and putting in, like, seven characters. It's really weird like that, I just, you know. Um, one thing you do unlock, which is actually quite cool, if we sneak in here, if you actually get all the DK coins, like I have done, ho ho ho, Funky's all like, unbelievable, you found all the DK coins. And he's like, I didn't think you had it in you, which obviously I didn't because I cheated. But, uh, so he's gonna, uh, he's gonna make something new for us. He's gonna use the Funky Copter, which is pretty cool actually. And what it does, it lets you get all of the, uh, Unless you get all of the banana birds and other stuff. Which I think I might actually need for the final boss. Um, but anyway, so we got a helicopter now. We We can fly over the scenery, it's great. So we go to Boomer. And we tell Boom we want to open up a new stage. Boomer's great. He's like, Sup dudes? My name's Boomer. Uh, anyway, so we get all the B coins. And then we say, let's do it Boomer. Let's bought you five of Boomer's specials. Uh-oh, we're just gonna get stuck then. Kaboom! Kaboom! Wait for it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, this is the Lost World. It's actually quite cool. It, it, normally it does take a little while to find all this. So, Stampede Sprint. Let's see if I can still do all these without sucking. These are actually pretty difficult. There's some bonuses up here. You, there is actually bonuses in these stages, of course. Uh-oh. Uh right. Whoop. I remember this being difficult, so let's see how difficult it actually is. I think the answer is very. Give it a go. I think you get scared. That's it. She goes, Wee! And then you have to do the rest of it by running and jumping over all the obstacles. Which, of course, is actually reasonably difficult. However, normally, the game does a fairly good job oops, of letting you know when you should or shouldn't jump. However... I also don't think there's any uh, checkpoints, so you have to kind of do all this in one go. Which is easier said than done, i got to be honest. Uh... Oh no, I lost it. If you take the bird all the way to the end, you get the bonus. Uh, which, of course, we didn't because we sucked. But we pretty much made the stage. Yay! Sorry about the bird, though. And this is where you get the DK coin, but we don't care about that. Pop! And there we go. That wasn't bad. And we get a special cog, and that cog allows us to get the last stage up. Hooray! Phew! First go. That's not too bad, actually. That's actually quite a difficult stage. I'm gonna get me my K. The Lost World has these really spooky... Boing, boing, boing. Has... I remember the Lost World having some really cool stages. Like, this is a really interesting idea. So you change it to uh, TNT, but you gotta remember to change it back, otherwise you're gonna deeply regret it afterwards. Boing, boing, boing. I, don't know, I, uh, I just remember this being a really cool stage. That goddamn sprawling guy. So what we need to do is kaboom the, that guy and then change that back. Because the game's not clever enough to let you do it off camera. You have to make sure you, the bee gets physically blown up before you uh, carry on. Stop that, you little sprung asshole. Boom! So now we got to jump over, like so. Oh! Careful, careful, uh, careful. I could use Kitty to get these, actually, by throwing them into them, but uh, no need. Right. There we go. Now we can change these back. Be careful, don't jump too soon. There we go. Boing, 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 boing. Again, we're missing bonuses and things, but uh, that's only because we don't need them because we horrifically cheated. I didn't even think there was uh, halfway points in these stages. That's a bit easier than I was expecting. Look at these like TNT assholes. You guys suck. Ooh. Not quite sure what we need to do this for. Let's uh, not do that then. G. We missed N. Oh, 
these lost stages don't seem as difficult as I remember them being. This cause it, it could be because it's just the first couple, and you can access this really early on in the game, to be fair. So it could be that... Uh, Let's go this way. And this way. Sprawling, you're a dick. There we go. Boing, boing. Considering we've already got G, this is actually quite long. As long as I was expecting. Okay. So have we got him? Yeah. So now we're going to have to change this back now then. That TNT guy is so slow. They did not want you to get hit by that guy. Nice. What's over here? Ooh! Ooh! That was a bit dodge. Wow, Kitty stole the day there. Look at that. Right at the end, you nasty little monkey. Excellent. Now we're in the Tyrant Twin Tussle. I think it's those big twin looking dudes again. Yeah, these guys. As far as I know, they don't do anything particularly unexpected. They just run back and forth. The bananas, of course, telling you where you can and can't stand. Which makes this kind of a tad easy, I guess. But whatever. Or oh. bonus, I'm obvious bonus I'm missing there. Whoop. There is K though. I do want K. K is my jam. Nice. I think the key here is to take it slowly. There we go. Whee! Bananas never see you wrong. Leg it. More bonus barrels that I'm gonna horribly skip because I'm a terrible person, I cheated. Just gotta wait, I think. Ooh! Okay. Ooh! I didn't know they did that! You sneaky monkeys. Well, weird Kremlin freaks. Okay, let's stand back a little bit. So they just go really high. We probably just need to jump over them when they are. Uh, Okay, that just didn't work, did it? I just wasn't gonna have that. Right. Uh oh. Ooh. Let's just wait then. Wee. Okay, good. Now we can just go this way. Cool. Look at that. Some patience, and we get this done. Oops. Uh. Hop. Oh. Oh. Well, never mind. Again, I kind of remember this stage being way more difficult than it actually is. I missed N. Oh, that's so painful. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Once again, Kitty takes the stage for the blue team. Right at the very end. You think you're happy? You think you're proud of yourself, kitty? Yeah? Well, don't be. Alright? I don't remember this one. At all. Oh! I was spinning there! Damn, that was, uh... That was callous. Oh, well, never mind. Is there a DK barrel? Right here or something? I don't know. Or did I already get it to this stage? I already got it to this stage, didn't I? Let's see if I can get through this without getting horribly mauled. Flying birdies, go! Flying birdie, go! What a hero. Blech. What about down here? That looks like an obvious thing. It's a bonus! I don't care about bonuses right now, though. Bonus is no longer my jam. I turn my attention to other things, like cheating. Nice. Okay. None of these are too hard. Can I follow through? Yeah. That's tricky, and that's a bit of a trap, to be honest. I'm not really interested. I am interested, however, in DK barrels, which I seem to have a severe lack of right now. Okay, we need to do this about halfway, actually. About there. And again. There. Ooh, there we go. DK Barrel, anytime you're ready. Can we just skip this? No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay. So we need to go 
go through ready. Oh! Damn! The suffering is real. I made that real- I actually did quite well there. Oh, that is cruel, the fact it's so long with- Whatever. Whatever. Screw you, stupid hedgehog. Yeah, you know what you did. Jerk. Let's try it again. This time with, uh... With more skills. Right, let's try again. There we go. Dong. Once again, we shall become Squawks, King of Worlds. Squawks, Squawks. Nicely done, Squawks. Right. That was so sad. I think I was getting really far with the stage as well. You know what, Fat Bird? I don't care. I don't care right now. We get the K. Let me go over this side. Wait till the uh, buzzy thing goes. They look rubbish, these wasps. They're just not scary. Eh. Is that it? No, it's a third one. Right. There. That's the trap. We avoid that. And then we go up here. And we go through the halfway point, don't we? That's it. Like that. Ooh. Careful. Right. Eh. There we go. Man, I must have been pretty close. Well, there's O, yeah. Oh, jeez, that's painful. Look how close I was. Right. Man, these hedgehogs are such knobs. Okay, I need to follow them in. Boink. Ooh! Ooh! That was close. Where do they come down there? There uh, go. I mean, most is just timing, so it's not too bad. Ah, he says, immediately getting hit. Where was the DK barrel? Obviously I missed it. Damn. Oh. Right. Careful. Don't ruin it by being rash. Okay, jump, 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 and go, jump. Oh, okay. Okay, time on that's nasty. There we go. Yeah, finally got Kong. Eat me, stupid little squirrel shits. Hedgehogs, whatever you are. I don't kill an animal, you are so important. I beat ya. Alright. Rocket Rush. I don't remember what this one is. Is this another one of those automatic ones? Oh, it's this. Okay. This... I don't remember. This controls super weirdly, by the way. Okay. Surprised we can just... Break the bees. Oh, need that. There we go. Okay, this this does not control like you'd expect it should. I'm running out of fuel. Okay, got to the halfway point. Wait, now we go back up. Oh god. This is a great idea. Shit. This is way more forgiving than I was expecting it to be. Oh crap. I mean, presumably until I run out of fuel. Okay, yeah, there's there's the unforgiving bit. So you're gonna have to make that up the entire way. So that's kind of a memory test as well as a reaction test. This thing doesn't move like you expect it would. 
Let's put it that way. So we just fall into this, get some fuel, and then. So you're gonna have to follow the bananas as best you can without hitting the roof. I don't know how many you can get away with, if any. Ugh. Damn. Ugh. None, apparently. So you have to make it up the entire way. That is rough. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember the entire route is tough. Okay. Let's go. Rocket me, baby. So tough. It controls like complete dicks, so trying to get up here is actually really rough. Okay. Gonna do it. You've got to like overcompensate for your movement completely, which is really weird. It doesn't just move left and right. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. you got to kind of like use momentum, I guess. Okay. So this one, we just stay still. We hang left a little bit. Then we hang right a little bit. Then we go right. Then we go left. Okay. Oh, how did you make that? Way. Okay. Bollocks you, coin. I don't need you. Whoop. Phew. That was tough. Boing. I think now we talk to this guy and he's like, you got, you got five cogs? That's amazing. Hey there, cogs. So these five cogs go on this machine? You don't say. What could they possibly do? I don't know, you built the freaking place. You tell me. Well, they're all on. Doesn't seem to have done much. Or has it? I don't need to get all the damn banana birds. Oh no, there we go. Whee! It's a submarine! Right, ordinarily I'd save it, but I'm gonna just do uh, this. Woohoo! Save me going into the wrinkly save cave. Alright! What, the Blazers? You're the ones responsible for scuttling my super secret submarine. This is the last time you spoil my plans. I'm gonna beat you up. Whoa, big man. Right, look out, you cheeky monkeys. This looks bad. I think we're supposed to throw the uh, barrel into the sucky thing when he's near and it spits him out. Oh, it actually goes straight up, does it? Okay, let's go that, like that then. Hoop. Bonk. And he goes, Ugh! I don't remember this tour just winging it. He doesn't seem very interested or making any noises. It's kind of weirding me out. What the? Ugh. Okay. Right. Now he's doing something else. He's firing again. Zappy again. I literally have no recollection of this at all. It's super weirding me out. Up he goes. Bonk. <sighs> I'm guessing just like the other Donkey Kongs, it just gets faster and faster. Up. Bonk. Blech. Now we have a little conveyor belt. 
since we're not jumping anyway, it's not really a big deal. Uh, wait for it, wait for it. No. Bonk! Bleh. Okay, now, what's gonna happen here? Oh dear. How do we dodge that exactly? Can we duck? Ugh. Nope, you can't duck. So what's the key there? Hold the barrel in front of you to make the electrified barrel, maybe? Could try that, I guess. Ooh. I'm not sure if it checkpoints us at all or we gotta do the entire thing again. We'll have to find out, I guess. Bonk. Oh! This guy just, weirdly, this boss doesn't make any noises or make any sort of reactions. It's, he does there, but it's just really weirdly done. Okay, well I got hit, which is obviously bad, but uh, I need to test my theory about holding the barrel in front of you, maybe, to absorb the shot. Maybe I'll put the barrel down as the electric comes over to sort of go into it, like, you know, like, uh, I'm trying not to do it now, but, uh, like this. Find out. This is one of those sort of obtuse try it until it works kind of strats. Whoop. Bonk. Whee. I mean, it is a keg rather than a barrel, so I'm guessing it's being metal. We can... Oops. We can do that. Alright, let's try it again. Whoop. Ugh. I'm gonna miss this one. Ugh, crying out loud. Ooh. Alright, let's try this again. This time we let's suck. Whoop! Bonk! He's like, Bleh. Don't get so angry, dude. I mean, he's not very good with this gimmick. I mean, what's his plan? To, like, just sit at the back there until, what, we get bored or what? It's just weird. Oh! It does do that, but it came from the wrong direction this time. Arg! That was quite mean, actually. Right. Let's try this again. This time we'll keep uh, Kitty for that second phase, I think. I don't like really long, tedious fights like this particularly uh, in games. Like, I wouldn't say any of this is particularly difficult so far. It's just a, just takes ages, which uh, isn't as interesting. Anyway, I need to move because... A lot of this is just, again, memorization. It's... If you didn't know what was coming, you can't really adjust to it very quickly, especially if you don't know how to deal with the mechanic. Whoop. Bleh. Right, he's gonna leave now. Now we get the same deal. What's this, phase two? We'll call this phase two. What's this, phase three? Let's call this phase three. Alright. Whoop. Ugh, missed. Okay, let's try again. Whoop. Damn. Barrel, please. Ah, uh, I've messed I've mucked it up. It's not actually it's weird that the trying to shoot the barrels up is a little bit finicky. It doesn't quite go up sometimes, so let's try again. Oop! Bonk. Two. Three. I don't get why he turns electricity off to let us throw a barrel at him, but what do I know? Oop. Shit. Arg. That's all I get for rushing, it just didn't work. That was totally me. Okay. Donk. Oh, what the? What? What? Oh, come on. Come off it. I got scammed. I got scammed. I got scammed bad there. Okay. This time. This time we're gonna do this. Uh, now. There we go. Right. Careful. Don't get caught. I mean, the treadmill's mo not moving very quickly, so I wouldn't say it's an overly difficult to. Uh... There we go. Uh, 
that way. So then we just, oops. <sighs> oh, piss. That's annoying. Okay, let's get the uh, barrel, barrel. Okay, let's just wait safer. Okay, I don't know what's coming next though. Same thing, just moving. Okay. Oh, come on! Jeez! That's really fucking, fucking, fucking annoying. Oh, I'm genuinely cross. Oh, this is so tedious. Fuck, man. It's not like a fun final boss, it's just a lesson in, like, tedium. All the mechanics are designed to be as slow, drawn out, and as annoying as humanly possible. There's no platforming in this, it's trying to fight the terrible barrel throwing up mechanic in this game. Like, throwing the barrels up is just really inconsistent and annoying. Ah, Right. I have, I have my little winch now, I feel a bit better. I'm gonna just cut to when we get to the next stage, because, jeez. Okay, we're finally there. Let's, uh, let's get this done. So put that down, try and avoid, there we go. I personally don't think this is interesting. Like, you're fighting the controls? And if you're fighting the controls, that you know, I think they've done something wrong. You shouldn't spend the very last boss of the game wishing you, were, you weren't trying to throw barrels at it because the controls are so fiddly. Just think that's, just means I think they've just fucked up, right. Okay, what now? Same deal? Oops. Okay, literally the same thing. Okay. Damn. Oh, don't get much time there, did we? That it? Oh, well, that's weird. Okay. Well, we did it. Maybe me doing the uh, cheats there has made it a little bit dodge. Uh, ordinarily, I think he legs it, and then we leave, so we can get the uh, we can get the helicopter, which we have, and then we... I think you follow him up here, or... I can't remember how this works now. Uh, I think I'm missing something. I think it's the banana birds. And I gotta be honest, at this point I'm not gonna do any of this justice because I'm just genuinely too cross with the game and I'm gonna do I need to do some final thoughts really on that. Uh is, I think it's up here you go? Yeah. This is what you need to do. So this is the uh, banana bird mother, and what you're supposed to do is get all the banana birds. So We will uh actually I I just realized I I I will do this, I will do this. Anyway, you get the idea. We need to get all of the uh, the birds, and once we've got them, we can free her, and then we get the ending. It's also super weird, and like, I don't know. Anyway. Please, find all my children and bring them back to me. God, let me skip the text! Ah, I'm playing a platforming game. I don't give a flying fart about your story. Like, Zippo. It's not interesting. It's completely irrelevant. Right. As you can see, with the helicopter, you can kind of fly around. So, you get the helicopter by defeating K. Rool, and you can do all these different things and whatnot, and blah blah blah. So, you can get all these banana birds, which are these terrible Simon Says minigames. Again, it's just collecting shit for the sake of it, which is what basically Rare went on to do with Banjo-Kazooie and stuff. Which I do like, but it really is just sometimes collecting pointless nonsense all the time. And there's one up here... There you go, you see? I, I do remember where most of them are. I think there's one here? No. Once you do all these and you got them all in the special stages as well, it's, uh... There's one up there. Yeah, I think I've done most of these, haven't I? So... Is there one here? No. Whatever. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go suddenly get all the banana birds. Through the magical power of abusing the cheats, we have found all of the banana birds by playing lots of Simon Says games. That's what you would've done. Please, you found all of my children. Go to Wrinkly's Cave. She'll know what to do. Ooh, Wrinkly's Cave. Ooh. Don't slip up. Haha, <laughs> because she's a banana bird. Fuck off. 
Right? <laughs> I am very bitter at this point. I, I am absurdly bitter, and I'll be talking about that in just a second. But let's get this uh, silly nonsense done. Yeah, we got all these banana birds. My word, they seem very excited. Go on, Kongs, don't worry about your boat. I didn't come here on a boat, Wrinkly. I had to have a helicopter. We, we get carried. We get carried like this to the magical land of the banana bird person that Captain K. Rulenstein has uh, sorted out. I mean, personally, it looks like she could just walk around this big bit of rock, but uh, you did it. You found all my children. They sing, as you can see. They each have a little different thing on there. It's nice, isn't it? I mean, if only you had wings and there was some way of getting around that big barrier. I'm so happy you're all whole again, yay! As I promised. He's gonna go teach K rule a lesson, I don't forget. So for some reason he's zooming around on a hovercraft. I'm not entirely sure why. But we follow him in a completely uninteractive way. And, uh, you know. Yep, that's, uh... This is it! This is what you uh, worked hard for. You get to see the uh, banana bird model basically chase him around. I don't know why either. I mean, it's lucky he slowed down there, otherwise they'd have had a problem. I mean, it's cool you get to see him, like, in the uh, hovercraft, I guess. He goes, blah! And then she drops an egg on him. I don't know either. This is basically just the 100% you've done everything ending. Um, I remember being very disappointed as a kid too. Yeah. There you go. AAA is on 62% of the game. Aren't we amazing? We're an average ape. Well done us. So, Donkey Kong Country 3. Yeah. I think it's going to be a mixture of two things. I think either this game isn't genuinely as good as the others, the other two, or I've got Donkey Kong Country Burnout. Uh, I think it might be a mixture of the two, but I just, I don't know, Donkey Kong Country 2 was really tight, interesting, lots of really coolly designed stages, great music. And while this does have good music, um, which certainly helps, the, the stages in general just aren't very interesting. You've got like... The barn stage, the forest stage, they're all very more generic -y. The The gimmicks aren't as exciting, the enemies aren't as cool. The Lost World stages are easy and not particularly interesting. The rocket one being the exception, probably. Like, we had the one where the birds are flying through the stage at you. Like, you know, that's just a standard stage. I just, I don't know. I'm hard pushed to recommend anyone else play through this at this point. It... It actually makes me a little bit upset because I remember it distinctly very well being my favourite when I was younger. But I think it might just be nostalgia talking, the fact this was my first one I owned myself and I, you know, I played more of this than I did the others at the time. But going back to it, Donkey Kong Country 1 is a much tighter game platforming wise. And Donkey Kong Country 2 is a much more interesting game and tighter game again than both of those other two. With better stages, better gimmicks, just generally more interesting things going on. They kind of added this like overworld, which was unique at the time, I suppose, in, in the sense that you could just travel it freely. But I don't think it really added anything to the game. And not only that, I don't feel it. Uh, I don't think it really was a decent reward. You collect all the coins, and what do you get? You get a you know like a helicopter. Great, and the helicopter lets you get the banana birds. Okay, which is a really bad mini game. Okay, which lets you get a proper ending where you drop an egg on him. I mean, it's, it's funny, sure, but. Uh, Otherwise, eh, why? Dixie's great. Kitty is not. Kitty is annoying to control. He's sluggish. He's heavy. His animations are slow. Uh, he's just generally not very interesting. As much as I dislike Diddy, he's very quick and snappy, which was interesting because Dixie was the slower of the two, but more controlled in the air. Whereas Diddy was the faster of the two and less controlled in the air because, you know, he was quicker and he couldn't float. You lost that with uh, Kitty. I don't know. So yeah, final thoughts. Uh, I'm just not as impressed as I thought it would be, and I think that, I think that's a shame because I think it's uh, you know it comes out in the videos that I'm not super keen on this, which is true. I, I really wasn't. I just wasn't feeling it pretty much the entire way through, which is a real shame. I really thought I would. And so ends our Donkey Kong Country trilogy play. 
and it ends with not with a not with a explosion or with a bang, but with a whisper, as they say, which is a shame. However, Donkey Kong Country didn't go on to die. No, they released Donkey Kong Country 64 or Donkey Kong 64, which was I personally think pretty lousy. Um, it, I thought it was a crappy about a Kazooie. Um, and then we had Donkey Konga, and Donkey Kong sort of sat, sort of stale for a little bit, I'd say. And then all of a sudden, you had Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii, which was really good. Uh, it was a bit more basic, I'd say more akin to Donkey Kong Country 1. And then all of a sudden you got Tropical Freeze, which was more akin to Donkey Kong Country 2, with the different Kongs. You had Dixie come back, you had, uh, you know, you had Cranky in there as well. Really good, really, really good. Tropical Freeze is absolutely amazing. And uh, that's something I wouldn't mind playing on the channel at some point. Maybe when the Switch version comes out, I'll grab it and play through. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know whether you want to see that or not. Anyway, I'll leave you with my sour thoughts. This is bad, and I'm a bit sad. So, there we go. It's not a bad, bad game by any stretch. How it is, however, I feel a bad Donkey Country game. Shame, but there we go. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you next Saturday for something different. Or maybe next Saturday. Maybe the one after. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. Catch you all then. Bye-bye.